What's up everybody? Today I'm going to be tying a really cool speckled blue and white crappie jig. This is one of my favorite variations of the monkey milk color. For this jig we're starting out with a 1 16th ounce freestyle jig head. This one has a size 4 sickle hook. I powder painted that with Protec Disco Blue and I put a 5mm blue 3D eye on it. For the thread we're going to be using a white UTC Ultra Thread 70 denier. We're just going to start that thread behind the head and take it down to the point of the hook. For the tail, we're going to be using these hairline two-tone rabbit strips. These are blue and white. So I've taken a little piece of that and cut off about a half inch of the hide. And then I peeled back some of the fibers and cut those off so that I would have just enough to have a tail that'll be the length of the hook. I like to cut off the extra that I'm not going to use from the hide just to keep down the bulk. So I'm just going to pinch that right in on top of the jig and tie the hide up to the head. Make sure you get some really tight turns before you let go. And that hide should be hugging the hook if you've done it properly. So just bring that up and then if you have any extra hide you can just clip that off before it gets up to the head. And then just tie that down tight. Once you've got it secured you can bring your thread back down to the tail just to secure it down further. And back up once again. For the body, I'm going to be using this Woods & Water Outdoors Custom Chenille. This is Blue Spec. I'm just going to strip some of the fibers from the stem of that chenille and tie it in so that the chenille will start right at the tail. Again, tying in this core will just keep down the bulk so we're not tying in the entire chenille. Once you've got that secured, bring your thread back up to the head. and then you want to clear all of the tail fibers from that chenille to make sure none of them will be trapped. Take your time here. And then start wrapping that chenille when you're ready. Take your time to get the first wrap. You want to get it nice and straight. Keep the wraps perpendicular to the hook shank. And you want each wrap to be pressed right against the last. Make sure to stroke the previous fibers back with each turn. This will just help us get more turns and really tightly pack that chenille on there. That's how you really unlock the beauty of this chenille. So just continue that. And once you get it up to the head, you can secure that down. Make sure you get a few tight turns. And then clip it off as close as you can. And now we're going to whip finish. Just give it a five or six turn whip finish as usual. Pull that tight and clip the thread. So that's it. This is a really easy variation of the monkey milk jig, yet it works wonders. I catch so many crappie on this. They love that rabbit strip tail. It just has so much action and gives a unique color pattern that they're not used to seeing. If you enjoyed this one, please make sure to like and subscribe. It really helps me out, and we will see you next time.